So first we're gonna take our knife out and you have two options. You can use the screwdriver on the back of the knife and that will work with your sheath screws here and you'll also be able to work on here. We have a different revision that's coming out that'll have the same type of screws there. But you may also need, if you wanted to go faster, a Phillips head screwdriver. Some posts and spacers. So just take off your clip. You're going to see your spacer there. Keep that to the side. You're probably going to need that. Here's your small little post. And keep those out. And so we got two eighth inch spacers there. Now we're going to take off our back plate. This is a smaller post, so we're going to take that out, set it aside so we can swap it over here. This is your longer post. That right there is a half inch post. Put it in that place, put our spacer back on there, take our smaller post and put it over here. So your configuration should look like this right now. We're gonna go ahead and take the small screw that we took out earlier for that post, put that back in. It's about a 3 8 inch, a 3 8 inch long screw. Of course, this is gonna be used to adjust tension, so we'll see how our knife fits, but adjust tension through this spacer. So now that is in place, our sheath looks like this, and now all we have to do is get ready to attach our clip. You're gonna take these two extra spacers. I like to use them, you don't have to use them, but I like to use them. It just gives me a little bit more um, distance between the clip and the back of the sheath. So I'm just gonna take those, take my long screws, my three quarter inch, tighten these down. Take this one, put it in, and tighten down. Now you have configured your knife into cross draw configuration. So it should look like this. You put your knife in, make sure your tension's good, but that worked out pretty well. And now you'll be able to take it onto your belt Slide it over the clip, and there you go. Now you've got cross draw. You can draw it out with your right hand or put it across the back. And you can draw it with your left or taking this system and just moving it over here, you can draw it with your right across the back. So it's ambidextrous. So you can do it either way.